In the third week of June, from the diary of Samuel Pepys, Sam hears that the Duke of York is back in town and gets hard back to work at a frenetic pace. Though amid celebrations for victory over the Dutch, he grabs himself a pizza the action with another discreet dalliance. Meanwhile, the plague comes very close to home as Sam's coachman falls ill en route back home from East London. Please, don't forget to subscribe from Lockdown London in April 2020. It's time once again to travel back to the year 1665. Welcome. Are you sitting comfortably? Good. Then we'll begin. I'm Tom Barclay Matchett, the London storyteller. I share the stories of the people, places and personalities that have made London the finest city on earth. I'm currently sharing readings from the diary of Samuel Pepys in the year 1665, an era with many parallels to our own. Now please, settle in, and we'll begin. The 15th of June, 1665. Up, and put on my new stuff suit with close knees, which becomes me most nobly, as my wife says. At the office all day, at noon, put on my first laced band, all lace, and Kate Joyce's for, to dinner, where my mother, wife, and abundance of their friends and good usage. Thence wife and Mercer and I to the old exchange, and there bought two lace bon bands more, one of my seamstress, who my wife concurs with me to be a pretty woman. So down to Deptford and Woolwich, my boy and I, at Woolwich discourse with Mr Sheldon about bringing my wife down for a month or two to his house, which he approves of, and I think will be very convenient. So late back into the office, wrote letters, and so home to supper and to bed. This day the news book, upon Mr Moore's showing the strange Captain Ferrer's letter, did do my Lord Sandwich great right as to the late victory, the Duke of York not yet come to town. The town grows very sickly, and people to be afeard of it, they're dying this last week from plague, 112 from 43 the week before, whereof one in Fenchurch Street and one in Broad Street by the Treasurer's Office. The 16th of June, 1665. Up and to the office, where I set hard to business, but was informed that the Duke of York is come and hath appointed us to attend him this afternoon. So, after dinner and doing some business at the office, I to Whitehall, where the court is full of the Duke and his courtiers returned from sea, all fat and lusty and ruddy by being in the sun. I kissed his hands, and we waited all the afternoon. By and by saw Mr Coventry, which rejoiced my very heart. Anon he and I, from all the rest of the company, walked into the matted gallery, where, after many expressions of love, we fell to talk of business. Among other things, how my Lord Sandwich, both in his counsels and personal service, hath done most honourably and serviceably. Sir J. Lawson is come to Greenwich, but his wound is in, in his knee is yet very bad. Jonas Poole in the vanguard did basely, so as to be, or will be, turned out of his ship. Captain Holmes, expecting upon Sansom's death to be made rear admiral to the prince, but Harmon is put in, hath delivered up to the duke his commission, which the duke took and tore. He, it seems, had bid the prince, who first told him of Holmes's intention, that he should dissuade him from it, for that he was resolved to take it after he offered it. Yet Holmes would would do it like a rash, proud coxswain. 
but he is rich, and hath, it seems, sought an occasion of leaving the service. Several of our captains have done ill. The great ships are the ships to do business. They quite deadening the enemy. They run away upon the sight of the prince. It is strange to see how people do already slight Sir William Berkeley, my Lord Fitzhardy's brother, who three months since was the delight of the court. Captain Smith of the Mary, the Duke talks mightily of, and some great thing will be done for him. Strange to hear how the Dutch do relate. <laughs> As the Duke says, that they are conquerors, and bonfires are made in Dunkirk in their behalf. Though a clearer victory can never be expected. Mr Coventry thinks that they cannot have lost less than 6,000 men, and we dead not above 200, and wounded about 400, in all about 600. Thence home and to my office till past 12, and then home to supper and to bed. My wife and mother not being yet come home from William Hewer's chamber, who treats my mother tonight. Captain Grove, the Duke, told us this day, hath done the basest thing at Lowestoft in hearing the guns, and could not, as others, be got out, but stayed there. For which he will be tried, and is reckoning a pratting coxcomb, and of no courage. The 17th of June, 1665. It stroked me very deep this afternoon, going with a hackney coach from my Lord Treasurer's down Holborn. The coachman I found to drive easily and easily at last stood still and came down hardly able to stand and told me that he was suddenly stroked, very sick and almost blind. He could not see. So I light and went into another coach with a sad heart for the poor man, and trouble for myself, lest he should have been stroke with the plague, being at the end of town that I took him up. But God have mercy on us all. Sir John Lawson, I hear, is worse than yesterday. The king went to see him today, most kindly. It seems his wound is not very bad, but he hath a fever, a thrush, and a hiccup, all three together, which are, it seems, very bad symptoms. The 20th of June, 1665. Thanksgiving Day for victory over the Dutch. Up and to the office, where very busy alone all the morning till church time, and there heard a mean sorry sermon of Mr Mills. Then to the Dolphin Tavern, where all we officers of the Navy met with the Commissioners of Ordnance by agreement and dined, where good music, at my direction, our club came to thirty-four shillings a man, nine of us. Thence, after dinner, I to Whitehall with Sir William Barclay in his coach. And so I walked to Herbert's, and there spent a little time avec le Mosa, sin, his, uh, Algo con ella qui kiss and toco ses mamels qui mi heza haza la cosa a mi mimosa con grand plaisir. Thence by water to Foxwood, and there walked an hour alone, observing the several humours of the citizens that were there this holiday, pulling of cherries and God knows what and so home to my office, where late, my wife not being come home with my mother, who have been this day all abroad upon the water, my mother being to go out of town speedily. So I home and to supper and to bed. This day I inform myself that there are four or five at Westminster dead of the plague, in one alley, in several houses, upon Sunday last, Bell Alley, over against the palace gate. Yet people do think that the number will be fewer in the town than it was this last week. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to add your comments, like and subscribe. Cheerio!